Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here for Visual Micro. Today we're going to be doing a more in-depth look at the Visual Micro Arduino plugin for Visual Studio and Atmel Studio. Uh, today we're just going to be going through the setup. Uh, I'm going to show you what you need, uh, where to get it, and where some of the things are in the actual studio. Uh, in future videos we're going to do things where I show you all the benefits to Visual Micro over the Arduino IDE, uh, the debugger that uh, you can get for Visual Micro, and a lot of other things. So today we're just going to get started setting it up and showing you a little bit around Visual Micro. So you're going to need three things for Visual Micro. First thing you're going to need is either Visual Studio or Atmel Studio. I recommend Atmel Studio because Visual Studio, whoops, Visual Studio costs money. Uh, but I think it's free for a certain amount of I point is it costs money at a point. And some of the plugins that you get with Atmel Studio are free. But with Visual Studio, you have to pay. One of the big ones is Visual Assist, which is a plugin I love. So Atmel Studio. Another reason you'd probably want Atmel Studio is because it lets you program all the other uh, Atmel chips for their AVR and ARM architectures already all built in. So again, Atmel's probably the way you want to go. Second thing you're going to need is obviously the Visual uh, Micro plugin, and I'll put a link to this in the description. You can also find it within Atmel Studio, and I'll show you where that is. Now there is, you can get a license for the Arduino USB debugger. We're going to cover that in a later video. It's for one machine, 17 pounds, 29 US. So. Again, we'll be covering that in a future video, so you might want to get it. Wouldn't hurt. And the final thing you're going to need is the Arduino IDE software. Now, you may ask, why do you need the Arduino IDE? This has it within the Arduino IDE is all the is all the important bits that help Visual Micro work. So you're going to want to get that. It also has uh, all of the it has all of the libraries and. Especially if you're coming from the Arduino IDE, it has all of your libraries and board files already set. So you're going to want the Arduino IDE. Now, the great thing about Visual Micro is it works with not only the 1.0.5 Arduino IDE, which is used for the Arduino Uno, the Leonardo, and the Mega. It's also capable of running with Arduino 1.5, which runs the Arduino, the newer Arduino Yun and the Arduino Due. So again, download whichever one. I suggest you get the Windows installer so that you don't have to move too many files around. It's just easier. So, once you've got all those downloaded, you're going to obviously install it, and you'll be given Atmel Studio with Visual Micro. Now, the setup's pretty easy. Not going to run through it. It's very straightforward. So, if you've never used Atmel Studio, it's a lot like Visual Studio, and if you've never used Visual Studio, well, we're going to help you along in a couple more videos. But the basic thing to understand is is it's like the Arduino IDE. It lets you write your code, it lets you compile it, and it lets you put it on the board. It's just this offers so much more. So the first thing you're probably going to do is go to File, New, and you can type in and you can load up an Arduino project. And we'll just call this Test Visual Micro for now. We're not going to actually do anything with this. And when it opens, there we go. You can see you've already got the basic code all set up. It's all right there. Um, let's go under Tools. Let's go under Options first. Show you a couple things. If you've never used Visual Studio or Atmel Studio, I know this can be kind of daunting, so I'm trying to show you where everything is now. Options is where you tweak everything for your IDE, for your development environment, for you, where you write your code. A lot of this you can ignore. A lot of this is stuff you're probably not going to touch if you're just using the, or if you're just interested in programming Arduino. That's fine. What you are probably going to be interested in is the Visual Micro tab. This is where all of the important tweaking comes in. Specifically, this. Click to configure your um, IDE location. So you're going to go ahead and do is click on that. And this is where you choose what IDE version you're using and where it's stored. So for now, I'm just going to be using the Arduino 1.0, which is, again, for the Uno and the Leonardo and the Mega. 
and again, they do support Arduino 1.5, and they also support the Teensy architecture, which is nice about Visual Micro. It's all built in. And you're just going to go ahead and put in the location. It's in my program files folder, which is why I suggested using the Windows installer, because you don't have to move things around. It's nice and easy. There is even a nice download install IDE button, so you don't have to remember where that link is. So Once you've got that set up, a whole bunch of other things in here you really don't have to tweak. There's stuff for the uh, serial monitor, like the baud rate, auto clear, a whole bunch of other stuff we'll talk about, stuff for the compiler, and again, all this stuff we'll talk about in future videos. But the important thing to get it set up is configuring your IDE location. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at where a couple of other important things are. If you go under Tools, and you go to Visual Micro, and it tells you what version you're using, you can select the board you're going to use. Again, I've got all my other boards are already in here, which is great. You can choose, you can open a serial monitor up, and that's going to complain because I don't have a, anything plugged in at the moment. Uh, you can choose the program. You can upload using a programmer from the from Visual Micro within Atmel Studio. You can burn a bootloader. Pretty much everything you can do within the Arduino ID, you can do within Visual Micro. Uh, I've mentioned Visual Assist. Visual Assist is a great thing. Again, we'll look at what that does a little more in depth in future videos. But main thing is is that if you can't remember the name of a variable or you have a lot of variables, it's really easy to just start typing something in and it helps you. So it already tells you everything that you have. So Visual Assist, very nice. And again, that's free with Atmel Studio. You don't have to pay for that. Just think of a few other things real quick that I can show you that are important to just getting you up and running. Oh, to upload. If you want to upload, you're going to go ahead and click this button here, Start Debugging. It doesn't say Upload, it just says you know, Start Debugging. So if you hit that, it'll start compiling for the Arduino Uno. So it's compiling it. And there we go. And it says COM2 does not exist. Oh well. What's this? Oh, okay. That's just something else. Don't worry about that. And so that is, that's pretty much it for the setup. That's everything you need to get started. This will let you go ahead right away, start writing Arduino code Again, I really prefer this to the Arduino IDE. I talked a lot about why in the better Arduino IDE video. This is really, if you're stuck with, if you have Windows, this is probably the best solution for writing Arduino code alternative to the Arduino IDE. So, yep, that's the setup of Visual Micro. We'll cover more in a few other videos. But for now, again, I'm Human Hard Drive here for Visual Micro. Thanks for watching.